distant future where vampires rule the night, a young woman named Doris Lang was bitten by a powerful vampire known as Count Magnus Lee. After that incident, she went to find herself a vampire, but what she got was Vampire Hunter D, a vampire hunter with extraordinary abilities. Uh, nice move! I guess you're not that good after all. Now, surrender that sword! Now Dee must protect Doris and her little brother Dan from the Count's evil minions before she ends up becoming the Count's bride. <laughs> So this is a horror thriller anime created by Hideyuki Kikuchi who is best well known for his works on Wicked City and Demon City Shinjuku and directed by Toyo Ashida who worked on animes like The Fist of the North Star. This anime is the reason why I love anime in the first place. This anime is based on Hideyuki Kikuchi's first book of the same name. It's a good old fashioned spaghetti western battle between good and evil with vampires and monsters in an apocalyptic setting. I will admit that this anime won't exactly scare you, even though it's excellently gorish. But I enjoyed every single second I watched this anime. From the battle scenes to the amazing dark atmosphere. And the characters, I just love them all. The heroes, the villains, they are just so freaking awesome! Hmm, you're much better than I expected. So, with due respect, I'll kill you with my favorite weapon. was told of a mutant who could twist space around him and now it seems that I've met him. The animation was done by Yoshitaka Amano who is best well known for his works on the Final Fantasy video game series. I will admit that this is a downgraded version of Yoshitaka Amano's work. Not to mention that some of the backgrounds can be a little hard to see because it's really really dark. But it has an old school 80s animation that reminds me of some of those Hammer horror films which I find totally classic. Not to mention that the character designs remind me of that Hammer Horror film, The Horrors of Dracula, which I highly recommend. Doris, there's no need to worry. Believe me, he'll come back. A man like that has a will made of tempered steel. He'll be extremely difficult to defeat. Tell me, are you in love with this vampire hunter? For your sake, I hope not. You see him as a hero, and perhaps he is. But that's not all he is. His eyes seek out danger not love. I don't understand. Those eyes belong to a man who's torn by conflict and the desperation that comes with fighting for his life. Can a man like that know how to love? The voice acting for both English and Japanese dub was excellent. I mean, I just loved every single voice actor in this anime. They completely connected with their characters. 
One actor that I have to give two thumbs up was the actress who played Lamika. I mean, she is like a feminine, sexy Bella Lugosi. Sorry to disturb you, but you must return to your room. Idiot, you dare give me orders as if I were a servant? Not my orders, Lamika, your father's. Our attack against the Dampeel has angered him, and he demands that you return to your room and remain there until summoned. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what insolence! How dare you touch me! You cater to my father because you want to join the ranks of noble society. Ha! A creature as base as you, one of us? Ridiculous. Your blood's as filthy as that of a human. <laughs> the music was done by Noriyoshi Matsura and Tetsuya Kimura. The music has this 80s creepy, haunting, and adventurous feel to it that really fits in with this dark, apocalyptic future of the anime. Listen! Everyone! Doris Lang is contaminated! She was bitten by the Count! You could still see the puncture wounds on her neck! That man's a vampire hunter and she's the one he's working for! Is it true? Again, uh... In the end, Vampire Hunter D is the reason why I love anime, and it is a part of my everyday life. Brought to you by Carl Masek. Thanks, Carl. This anime totally changed my life forever. So, that's my review of Vampire Hunter D. I give this anime a 5 out of 5.